hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and you're watching step ladder and i hope that you all are doing fine and good and in today's session we are back with a new chapter that is polynomials which is your second chapter from your class 10 in crt cbse mathematics textbook and today we are going to solve the questions of your exercise 2.1 and mainly we are going to solve the first question today completely so we are going to solve your first question of the exercise 2.1 which is from your polynomials chapter that is chapter 2 so this is your ncrt series now let's get into the lesson so this is your exercise 2.1 which is in page number 28 in your NCRT textbook. So the first question goes like this. I guess you all can see. The graphs of y equals to p of x are given in fig 2.10 below. For some polynomials, p of x find the number of zeros of p of x in each case. So this is the question. So remember, in these cases, so in these types of questions, what we should keep in your mind is that the number of so the number of zeros are equal to the number of intersection intersection points on your x axis so remember on your x axis not y axis so here we don't consider y axis, we only consider the x axis. So the number of zeros equals to the number of intersection or the number of times the points intersect at x axis, not y axis or something else. So here remember we consider only this x axis alone, not this one. Okay. So here is your first question. So here in this question you can see the number of zeros will be zero as this lies in your y axis and moreover it is parallel to your x axis right in fact it is parallel right so hence the number of zeros in this first sum is zero so i guess this is clear so this is your second question so i guess you all can see here so here it goes something like this right so here you can observe one point here right at your x-axis hence the number of zeros here is one so i guess you all can see the number of zeros for your second sum the is one okay and this is your third question here you can see it is intersecting here as well as here and as well as here so hence the number of zeros are three so i guess these questions you understood very well so now let's move on with the fourth one so this is your fourth graph so this is your fourth graph i guess you all can see this fourth graph so here you can see the number of intersection on x-axis is two so hence the number of zeros equals to 2. And in this graph you can see the number of intersection here is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Hence the number of zeros are 4. And in this last graph you can see the number of intersection here at x axis is 1, 2, 3 therefore the number of zeros are three so i guess this is clear for all of you so let me just write it again so here the number of zeros are two number of zeros here is are four and here the number of zeros are three so guys that's it for today so this is your complete answer or solutions for your first question in your exercise 2.1 which is from your chapter 2 that is polynomials and if you want you can take the screenshot of these solutions so this, uh, this is the solution for these questions so as i said before the total number of zeros in any polynomial equation equals to the total number of times the curve intersects at 
x axis see here we consider only x axis not y axis that's very important remember that so if you want you can take a screenshot of this as i said in the first question the number of zeros that is p of x is zero in the second question it is one the third question it is three and in the fourth question it is two and the fifth question it is four and in the sixth question it is three right i guess this is clear if you want you can take the screenshot of this okay guys so that's it for today i guess you all understood the whole sums very clearly and the solution was also very simple i guess so stay tuned so that's it for today i hope this video was very helpful and informative to you if so please like the video share with your friends and if you have doubts regarding this video or if you want to suggest or if you have any opinion regarding this video you can just post it in the comment section i'll try to clarify all your doubts i'll try to check and revert all your comments back until then bye bye take care meet you all in my next video and before that please do not forget to hit the bell icon to get all kinds of notifications from my youtube channel stay tuned and please subscribe my channel for more videos and notifications so i guess this video was very helpful so kindly subscribe my channel for more videos and notifications bye bye stay tuned and take care i will be back with the second question of this exercise 2.1